Okay, real um, number, for those of you in my class, we're going to just quickly go over unit three. We've talked about this before, so I want you to take out unit three, and you're going to be doing the unit three exercises, okay? So um, if you have one of these papers, you can, do you have one of these? No? Yes. How about you? Did I give you one of these? You don't have one? Do you? So go to unit three. This is kind of for more advanced, so this is harder. Did you do this yesterday? No. Do you want to do this? This is hard. Do you want to try? This is in your language. It explains it in your language. Do you want to try? Okay, because I thought you... <laughs> do you want to try or do you want to... Yeah, you can use hers. Okay, so we're, we're still working on the present. What I am doing now. How do I say what I'm doing now? Remember, there's two ways of saying what I'm doing now. I can say ING, I am doing, I am teaching. I am doing my hair. That's now. We can say that means now. Then we can say I do or the verb in present tense, which means it happens all the time. Like it boils, I get hungry, I learn, I learn Thai, money increases over time, we live in London, I work at the hospital. So when it's all the time, like past, present, past, now, and future, we use the verb, the, re the present tense of the verb. Okay, remember we talked about that last time. So um, examples they have, and you can look at your examples. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, right? You, it always boils at 100 degrees Celsius. It boils at 100 degrees in the past, it boils now, and in the future. Water boils at 100 degrees. Do you want one of these? Do you have one? Do you want one? Do you want one of these or no? Or do you want to stick to your book? That's fine. Number two, excuse me, do you speak English? Right here. We're on this column. Do you speak English? speak English because that happens all the time. I speak English yesterday and I'll speak English tomorrow. So you use speak. Do you speak English? Okay, that's for this side, right? It doesn't rain very much in summer. It doesn't rain. No, it doesn't raining. It doesn't rain because it rains a lot. It rains yesterday, it rains tomorrow. So rain has no past, now, and future. I usually get hungry in the afternoon. Yesterday I got hungry, tomorrow I'll get hungry. So it doesn't have no past, now, or future. Most people learn to swim when they are children. So that doesn't have past, present, or future. They learn to swim. 
So we use the present, the verb in the present tense, right? Um, this one, we know about this. We kind of talked about that today. When it's happening now, it's usually with the ing. For example, the water is boiling. What language are they speaking? It's happening now. It isn't raining now, is it? It's happening now. I'm getting hungry. Let's go and eat. These are long sentences. So, or um, I'm living with friends until I find a place of my own. I'm working hard today. Now, what we didn't cover before is this. Always. In English, we tend to say always, even though it's not true, but we say it anyway. Like I tell my children, you're always on the phone, get off. You're always watching TV, shut the TV off. They're not always watching TV, but we say it in English. So when you use always, you will use the ing. I'm always losing them. I'm always losing my keys. My husband is always losing his car keys. Always losing. He's always talking. Do you know people like that? They're always talking. In, in English, we use the ing. We no say, do not say, he always talk. He always talks. No. We say, he's always talking. We use the ing. I'm always losing keys. That's how we say it. No, I always lose keys. I'm always losing keys. You are always on the phone, right? That's how we say it. You don't say, you are on phone. You are on phone always. You are always on the phone. So, although in here we don't have the ing because it's you are always on the phone. So you are always talking on the phone. The talking is implied. You are always talking on the phone. That's what it should be. You are always talking on the phone. But in English we can say this, you're always on the phone. Or you can say you're always talking on the phone. Can you give me another example of this always? My feet always hurt when I walk. My feet always hurt when I walk. Okay, my feet are always hurting. My feet are always hurting, period. So when we use the word always, we have an ing. So I want you to go through num unit three, read it on your own, and then see if you can do the practices. <laughs> These are complicated sentences, so they're asking a lot of different vocabulary. That's why these are hard. Okay, do you have one? Again, dude, you gotta be more prepared. You're always forgetting your homework. <laughs> That's another way to say, uh, wait, I always forget? I'm, I always, I'm always forgetting. I am always forgetting. Yes, forgetting. You can use this. Yeah, I can draw your face uh, okay, you can use this though. Yes. That's okay. Or oh, here, actually. Because I still want you to do something and I want you to challenge, okay? So, so you guys do unit three. And it's still present time. I do, I boil hungry present time. But we're learning something new today. We're learning the always. And always you use ing like it's happening now, even though it's not. But that's how we say it in English. I'm always forgetting my phone. I'm always forgetting my money. I'm always losing my brush. So we say, when, it, when we use the word always, it's the ing. I'm always losing my brush. 
I'm always hungry. Okay, we say, um, well, that's not true. I'm always hungry isn't that. We always say I'm always hungry now. But in the afternoon, I am, I am usually hungry. You don't say that either, sorry. It doesn't happen all the time, but normally. Normally, it's NG. I'm always losing something. I'm always forgetting my phone number. How many remembers their phone numbers? I'm always forgetting my phone number. Okay, so unit three. And then for you guys, we're gonna go, oh, let's go to unit two, okay? Open your books to unit two. Open your books to unit two. So do you have a, so you, if you don't wanna do this, do you wanna do this better? That's fine, you don't have to do this. Do you have a book? You can borrow hers? Okay, unit two, unit two. Okay, remember that infamous who's. Can somebody read this to me? Who's, who's, can you read that to me? Who's bag? 